Word Level 1, Chapter 5, Inserting a Section Break and Creating Columns. You can change the layout and format of a specific portion of a document by inserting section breaks. For example, you can insert section breaks and then change margins for the text between the section breaks. And if you want to format specific text in the document into columns, you do this by inserting the section break. And that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to click in front of the word keyboard. I'm going to click on page layout tab and I'm going to go into breaks. Click on breaks, come down to continuous. When I click on continuous, you can see that the section break is here. Okay? If I want to get rid of the section break, all I have to do is click in front of the section break yourself and press the delete key. Now, what I want to do is uh, create another continuous uh, section break. I'm clicking in front of the word engineer. Go into breaks, click on continuous, and then I'm going to go to column, click on two columns, or I can come down here and click on more columns, and I can click on two. I'm going to put a line in between the two. I could do it either way, but I'm going to click on the line in between the two and click on column, and as you can see, this is my section break. Now, one of the things you have to do when you have a column, you need to balance the column out. So I'm going to click. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to go to breaks again, page layout breaks, and then I'm going to go to, to continuous. And what happens is when you click on continuous, it balances the column out. So as you can see, there's a uh, equal proportion of information here, and it balances it out here. That's dealing with inserting columns and also inserting continuous section breaks.